Okay, guys, a lot of people have emailed me and they said, Tony, how do you get all of that stuff, the GMU and the PMU, into the Phantom and actually get the top on it? Well, I'm going to show you the location for my tricks of the trade. What I do is I actually put a little bit of anti um, static rubber paint right over two connections. The PMU, when we're finished, is going to sit in the corner just like that and the GMU with the braided wire going down that hole and your FPV wire also going down that hole down there out down toward the leg at the bottom down there but what you're going to do is you're going to take this sort of the red wires looping back over that's going to actually fit right in there in between the housing and in between the concaveness it's going to fit just like that this is going to come over and so what you're going to do is as you close the top you're going to fit the unit in just making sure you're not pinching any wires or anything like that in between and then lay the top over get get all your wires in get your GMU in and push it down like that follow around with that unit there look around back <clears throat> Get all your wires in and there you go that's how that unit closes down just like so and then you're going to hold that together flip it upside down and then go ahead and put your four bolts in first uh, closest to the leg that one right there that one in that hole that one back there and then that one and then that'll give you a better foundation to work with i would stop there power up the unit just to make sure that your new gimbal does work. If it does, then I'll go ahead and put the other four screws underneath under each each motor. And there you go, that's how you get it all together.